Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And that is what we have for you today. We are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner and with a, actually with breakfast for dinner. So I'll start out with my plate. Uh, we are having some bacon, and then we are trying out these new Pillsbury Sweet Biscuits with mini chocolate chips, and Howard made scrambled eggs. He does a really good job with scrambled eggs. So on mine, I have um, green onions and cheddar cheese. And then let me show you his plate. He has green onions, scotch bonnet peppers, cheese, and then he has smoked paprika in his eggs. Of course, he's got the bacon as well and the sweet biscuits. So let me show you what they look like in the pan. Here they are right here. And then I cut one open so that you guys could see it. And um, they're actually pretty good. Howard, who is not a big fan of chocolate, said they're not bad at all. They're actually mini chocolate chips. And let me show you the package right here. This is what they look like. And as you can see on the package, it looks like the icing would come in like a little, uh, like a little tube that you could squirt out, but it doesn't. It comes in a little tin. Um, not the little tin, like a little plastic tub. And then you have to spread it on there, which is why um, mine don't look exactly like the picture. But anyway, it's pretty good. And we love breakfast for dinner. And as you guys know, we are still on the pantry challenge. So that's what you're gonna see this week. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. It is another meal from our pantry and freezer. I made crock pot Swedish meatballs. Be on the lookout because I did record a video of how I made this. But this is my plate right here. And it is such a simple recipe and it is so good because it's gotten colder here. So it's nice to have, um, you know, your house smelling all good and yummy um, when it's cold outside to have a hot meal waiting for you. And this is Howard's plate right here. And then we are just having some salad on the side. And this is a chopped Caesar salad kit and it came with the lettuce and then it came with the crouton crumble, the cheese and then the Caesar dressing. So this is um, my bowl and this is Howard's bowl. And then let me show you the packaging right here. It is from Taylor Farms. So this is what we are having um, for dinner tonight. Like I said, everything came out of our pantry. The egg noodles were in our pantry. Not everything, I guess. The meatballs I had in the freezer, but I had everything that went into the meatballs in my pantry, which is Lipton onion soup and beef broth. You'll just have to look out for the video that we have coming out. But we will uh, be eating off of this for a couple of days and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another meal um, from our freezer and pantry, stuff we had on hand. So I will start out with Howard's plate. He grilled some burgers for us today. So this is his plate, you probably already know that, by the avocado and tomato and the chipotle mayo. This is the mayo that he is using. And we had some chips in the pantry. So he is eating these Lay's barbecue chips. This is his plate. This is my plate. I am finishing up some Cheetos uh, cheese puffs that we had in the pantry. And I um, am a minimalist when it comes to cheeseburgers and I just like cheese on mine. And he grilled my bun for me and we are eating the King Hawaiian Sweet Roll Hamburger Buns. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we have another freezer slash pantry challenge meal for you today. Today I made a stromboli. Here it is. And um, I had, let me show you guys. I have a bunch of these. Well, actually I actually have a couple more left now, but of these Pillsbury refrigerated uh, pizza crust. And so I just went to Pinterest to see what kind of recipes I could find um, using this crust. And I found this stromboli recipe. And so it calls for mozzarella, which I had in the freezer, 
pepperoni, which I also had in the freezer, and Italian sausage, which I also had in the freezer. And it called for pizza sauce, did not have that, so I used marinara. And, um, and this is what Howard and I made for dinner tonight. We actually made it together, and here it is. It was really quick and simple to make. And then we are having a side salad with it, which is right here. And this is the salad that I bought during my um, recent Kroger haul. So this salad is new to us. It's roasted garlic chopped um, kit with romaine, broccoli, red cabbage. Actually, I didn't see any broccoli in there. Um, oh, shredded broccoli, red cabbage, croutons, celery, smoked white cheddar, green onion, parsley, and a creamy garlic dressing. So this again is what the salad looks like right here. Again, I did not see any broccoli in there at all. And here's our stromboli. So we have a half a loaf left. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having turkey soup. Howard uh, made dinner for us tonight. He started, it, started this in the crock pot this morning. And um, we are, as you know, still doing the freezer and pantry challenge and we are using, or he used, I should say, a turkey carcass um, leftover, and he froze it just for this reason, for soup that he likes to make. He loves making soup in the crock pot. So we have, um, as you can see, some of the turkey fell off the bone. So that's turkey right there. He has a ton of leeks in there, which added an amazing flavor to this soup. He used two different types of potatoes, and then to season up everything, he used this um, Grace chicken flavored soup mix. It is, um, um, I'm, I'm sorry, it's from Jamaica. He's from Jamaica too, and this is something that he was used to cooking with. So they sell it at Kroger, and that's where he gets this from. Has a really good flavor. Let me show you what it looks like in the crock pot. As you can see, the different types of potatoes in there and the leeks. There is the turkey and it's fallen off the bone. So we'll be definitely be eating off of this for a couple of days. So this is uh, what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.